Okay, so interesting. Uh, we have a new Fazbear Frights book. We've known the title for it for a while. It's The Prankster. And it was on track to just being another normal Fazbear Frights book when we found out it was the last one. Okay, interesting. Maybe it'll have a, a bit of an interesting cover, something that we can uh, theorize about. And, uh, well, as of today, yeah, it, it does. The cover for this book has been revealed, and it is very, very interesting. This is the first cover we've ever gotten that has a human on it, for one. Uh, we were going to have one. The Cliffs, which was originally going to be called The Breaking Wheel, and it was going to have this cover, but that was scrapped because of just how gruesome it is. Uh, this, however, has a human on it, which makes me wonder if this is actually going to be a important story. It's about a game developer, so probably not. I didn't mean for that to sound like a shot or something. It just kind of came out that way. I mean, I've grouped it in the same category as In the Flesh up until now, which was also about a game developer, and that was just kind of a one-off story. And I, I figured this would probably be one too, I thought, uh, but maybe not. And there's two other stories in this book as well that could go any direction, who knows. Uh, so this book is coming out in September, and then the last, last book, which is like an extra one with all sorts of scrap stories and stuff, uh, which, whether they're full stories or just like little snippets of what we might have gotten, uh, we don't know, but that's also coming out, and we don't have the cover for that one yet. I'm curious, and... With Puppet Carver coming out in, like, two weeks, I'm, I'm wondering how the series is going to end, because it's been doing a lot more, like, one-off stuff lately, and I don't mean, like, just stories on their own, I mean, like, also stuff that isn't really connected to what we think of as FNAF, really. Uh, we've had a lot of original villains. Some stories haven't really had a clear villain. Uh, the Real Jake was one, but obviously that was a lore story. Uh, but even, like, He Told Me Everything was a really weird one, and not my favorite, and I'm wondering if that's gonna continue, or, 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 or how the series is gonna end, where this is going, because it feels like it's been taking some really weird directions, and this cover, while I can't really place what's so different about it, apart from there being a human on the cover, just seems different to me, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see, uh... I don't know, I'm excited, but I'm also kind of scared, uh, and also kind of just curious, so <laughs> I guess we'll have to see. I will obviously cover this book as I've covered every other one on my channel, uh, and we'll see where it goes. I'm still enjoying this series, I know a lot of people aren't anymore because it's been so disconnected from FNAF, but I mean at some point you've got to branch out into other stuff, uh, and I, I, I appreciate it. I don't think it's been done the best, but I appreciate it, and I think it... You know, it's had some, it's had its moments. There's been some, some good stories uh, in the bunch. So, we'll see where this one goes. Thank you guys for watching. Just a quick news video to bring you up to speed, as I, as one might say. Uh, I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.